welcome in another video my name is Iga and today I would like to reply to a tag called uh, show me your spritz uh, I was tagged by a lovely Maite and thank you dear for, for the tag um, the tag was originally uh, created by Moody Boo um, so yeah uh, without further ado let's begin so the first category is called unicorns are real and this is um, a category which features fragrance that was difficult to get because it's discontinued or um, for, for, dif for different reasons, you know? And for me that would be Shalimar Ode à la I received a sample of this uh, from a friend, Anna, and I was thrilled. Unfortunately, soon I discovered that it's not easy, easily available, uh, but recently I managed to get it and um, I'm so happy because this is my favourite, I think my favourite flanker of Shalimar. I can even say that I like it a little bit more than the original. So. Yeah, this is my unicorn. Another category is called House of the Rising Scent. So this is um, a house, a brand uh, that you uh, discovered recently and that you love. So for me, definitely, definitely in the past months, that house would be Nikolai. I discovered so many fragrances and I fell in love with a few. Uh, so the first one was that I completely lost my mind for uh, was uh, Ambre Kashmir. Uh, then I got New York Intense, and my latest purchase was Vita Chateau, and I absolutely love it. And there are a few more from the brand that I love, and that I plan on getting in the in the near future quality uh, of those fragrances is amazing longevity performance everything they have this unmistakable dna about them they combine modern and old school which i absolutely love next is heart the hype so this is the fragrance that you agree with the hype um, and I have two. I'm cheating a little bit. Um, the first one is, yeah, you probably probably know what's coming. Baccarat Rouge 540. And I mean the EDP version, not, not the straight. Um, yeah, I, I remember doing like a, a short video on Instagram when I, uh, where I said that I don't get the hype. But later on, I couldn't stop thinking about Baccarat and I purchased a decant of EDP and it was a completely different story than the Extrait. Uh, it's, um, it has more depth and it has this airy, sweet, sweet quality about it that is addictive. The only thing that I can't agree with is the price because this fragrance is very pleasant, sweet, airy, slightly woodsy fra uh, perfume. It costs fortune, so this is my only problem with it. And another one, and this will be uh, something that I wholeheartedly agree with, is Ambre Nui uh, by Dior from their private line. And. Uh, This is, I don't use this uh, adjective very lightly because I don't really understand what a sexy fragrance is, but with Ambre Nui, uh, the ambergris in here is absolutely, it is probably the sexiest fragrance I have ever smelled. Uh, so I totally, totally agree with, with the hype. 
Uh, next category is the exact opposite. So, um, renounce the ounce. So, the fragrance you don't agree, uh, you don't know what, what, what the hype is all about. And I have one um, from Tom Ford. Well, actually, I have quite a lot, but uh, I thought that this I will I will mention this one because it's not only about my preference uh, because some of the fragrances. So my first choice would be uh, L'Air Desert de Marocain by uh, Andy Tower. I absolutely hate this fragrance. I don't know what the whole hype is about, but. I can understand that some people see artistry in it. Um, it's simply not my thing. I, I don't I don't see how the dirty uh, part of the fragrance works with with this aromatic clean thing. No, but so I described loads of the Marocao, which could be <clears throat> one of those fragrances, but. I'm not making any sense really but okay let me let me regain my train of thought the fragrance I would like to talk about and my motivation for choosing this one was not only um, my personal pre preference because I think this this fragrance is pretty um, pleasant I mean lost cherry by Tom Ford yeah I, fi I finally said it <laughs> Uh, Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. Uh, when I first sprayed it, I thought, well, this is a really nice fragrance. It's it's pleasant. But I have two issues with, with Lost Cherry. Uh, one is uh, that it's completely generic and mediocre. Nothing exceptional. A very pleasant, simple, almost... Mm, Too simple fragrance cherry fragrance uh, and the another thing that I have problem with with lost cherry is the performance because the name is very appropriate the cherry and the whole fragrance is lost after three hours from my skin I couldn't I couldn't smell it at all and given that this fragrance costs so much and given that it's nothing exceptional I don't understand the hype. Okay, on to the next one. The next one is Love is Blind Buying. And um, I would just say I don't blind buy that often. I think I blind bought two fragrances in my life. One of them being um, Midnight in Paris by Van Cleef and Arpels. And this is the ED version. I bought it when it was really cheap. I bought it in TK Maxx uh, and I thought okay if I don't like the fragrance uh, the bottle is worth owning it. But I absolutely love this fragrance and yeah this is my best blind buy. Probably one of two. <laughs> the next one is called Crystal Bowler and this is a fragrance that you are most excited to purchase in the future or to receive so uh, if you ordered it and for me I would have two again um, so I have two fragrances on my wish list and I'm really excited to get them so one of them is called Les Liquide Imaginaire Il Purple I'm probably butchering it like horrible um, and this is a fruity yet cozy kind of I find it difficult to, to describe this fragrance but yeah it's mainly fruity but I feel so, so comfortable wearing it uh, I feel very myself wearing it and I and I feel that when I'm wearing it this fragrance complements me and completes me uh, so I think this will be my next uh, purchase 
but it's quite pricey so I'll have to save a little bit. And the another one is a Sunshine Woman by Amouage. I have a decant and once the decant is gone I will be saving money to get it because um, I have to have it in my life. Okay, next one. I take it rare. Uh, and this one is about uh, to show a fragrance that not many people talk about and that um, is not very popular. And for me that would be... Uh, that is the uh, one that I could al also mention in my blind buy because this is the second blind buy and this is called Black Sugar by Aqualina by Pink Sugar, Pink Aqualina, Aqualina Pink Sugar, I don't know <laughs> what's the brand called. Uh, and this was like cheap, cheap, cheap fragrance and I blind bought it and I love it. Um, oud, raspberry, incense and leather. It's very that dense and thick. It's the, the name is quite appropriate. It's also quite sweet. Uh, so black sugar, although it's not it's not cloying and I must say I sent uh, decants and samples of this fragrance to a few people and uh, some of them uh, smelled it blindly uh, and all people who smelled it blindly thought this is a niche fragrance. The quality of this is, is uh, really good and the performance and the strength is also amazing. So this was also a very successful blind buy. Uh, the next one is called I'm stuck on a band-aid. So this category is to come up with a fragrance and fragrance notes for your favorite band, actor or, or singer. And I must say that was quite difficult for me um, because I listened to so many bands. But I thought about a band that I really, really like and that is very um, distinctive and um, very full of character. And this is Alabama Shakes. Uh, the leading um, singer is, oh my God, her voice is, deep and um, and strong so for this band and for the singer in particular I don't know her name unfortunately uh, my memory for names is infamous <clears throat> so um, with this band I would go for something dark but also sweet and warm so um, that would be a very dense, vanilla, smoky, woodsy, with something slightly harsh. So um, I would go with vanilla, leather, maybe tobacco, tiny little bit of citrus for freshness, um, maybe some sandalwood. Yeah, that would be it. And what would be the name? Um, vanilla milkshake. <laughs> no, that's stupid. I know. I know the name. <laughs> I don't know what name I would choose for the for the fragrance. Um, okay, and the last one, brain farts stink too. By the way, I absolutely fucking love the the names of the categories. So kudos to uh, Moody Boo because uh, these are hilarious. So. Uh, Brain Fart Stink 2, this is the uh, most expensive perfume purchase regret. And with this category I, I don't have anything because I never buy expensive fragrances blindly. Uh, I bought two fragrances blind and they were both very cheap. Uh, so I, um, I will say nothing. Uh, so that was my take on this tag. Um, I would like to tag Adam from The Sense of Me 
uh, and Sam from um, My World of Fragrance and anyone, really anyone who'd like to join. I would like to know your, uh, your answers to those uh, questions. So thank you for watching and see you in another video.